Hello again, it's Linda in Belize. It's time for another Rental Options in Belize video. And this is part one where I'm going to go through San Pedro because there's quite a few people I've met in Placencia. So it's time to do separate videos for San Pedro and Placencia. So if you are looking for a rental in Belize, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I continuously post updates. Now, any rentals available often go fast, especially if they're pet friendly. Now, most leases are six months or more. However, there are some I've indicated that are short term and always reach out if you're looking for something different. So let's start first with San Pedro. If you're not sure whether you would prefer to be in San Pedro or Placencia, check out my Belize tours that I do where I show people both options. So the first property I want to show is a one bedroom condo on the lagoon. And this one is located two miles north of downtown, so across the bridge, and it's close to truck stop. So it's a second floor unit, and the property does have an on-site pool. It's available July 8th on a six-month lease. It is $1,000 for rent, and this one does not allow pets. Many people looking for affordable properties in Belize look to the Secret Beach area because lots start at about $35,000. However, I recommend coming and renting in this area before choosing to buy a lot. And the reason for this is that it is completely off-grid and it's quite far away from amenities such as groceries and gas stations. I know a lot of people who bought land here that are not happy at all with it, although some people love this type of living. So this house is a perfect one if you're trying to see if it's right for you. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath house, which is available September 2023. And the great thing about the area is that the only utility you have to pay is internet because everything's completely off grid. Now, the one here is a six month lease and it's $1,100 a month and they do not allow pets. Now let's move south of town. So this one is a two bedroom condo with sea views 1.5 miles south, which is called Royal Palms. So this particular condo is on the second floor and there is an on-site pool in the community and it's available July 2023. So you do need to sign a one-year lease. And the one thing to note as well is that because the unit is for sale, you do have to allow real estate viewing. The rent on it is 1,400 plus utilities, and this one is not pet friendly. Here is also a two-bedroom, two-bath condo, which is located 2.5 miles south, and it's a third floor unit. And it has availability between July 17th to December 16th. And it is a beachfront condo with a pool on site. And the rent on this one's 1650 plus 9% tax plus utilities. And no pets are allowed in this one. A lot of my viewers are looking for pet friendly options. So let's look at some of those. So the first one we have is in Grand Bayman Gardens. And I've lived in this property for about a month and I really love the community because of the fantastic pool, gym and pickleball courts. So it's a one bedroom condo on the ground floor and it's available for rent in July and it's 1100 plus utilities and it is pet friendly with an extra $75 a month. So if you're looking for a standalone home in San Pedro, those are somewhat hard to come by, especially ones with three bedrooms. So this home is located in the DFC area which is actually right before Mahogany Bay Village. So it's where a lot of people that work at the resort actually live. And the good thing about this house is that it is on a canal with a boat slip. And the house will be available August 1st, 2023 for 1100 plus utilities. And if you do have a pet, you're allowed a maximum of two small dogs, which is $100 for, uh, per month for each pet. And then there's also a $50 a month fee for the housekeeper. Now, if you'd like to be in a gated community in San Pedro, this one bedroom that I have is in Mahogany Bay Village, and it also has a loft for extra space, and it has laundry and a dishwasher. So the home will be available July 15th, and you can see the plunge pool there that's shared between the two units. So this one goes for $1,600 a month plus utilities, and if you have a well-trained pet, then it would be $75 a month for that. The good thing about this property is that there is also a small guest house that you can book as needed for an additional thousand a month. So I have a lot of people that have rented both homes in the past, but I'm keeping the one smaller one now, either for when I come to stay or if the main tenants in the main house want to have it when family comes to stay. 